David Ingram, hello. What's going on, baby? How you doing? <laughs> hello from yeah. Thessaloniki. Oh, hello to everybody in Thessaloniki and the great country of Greece. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm so happy that uh, I'm speaking right now with you, and uh, I think that many, many fans of Heraklis, thousands of fans of Heraklis that are hearing uh, this show now, they are very happy because uh, you know, uh, if you put a word, two words close to Heraklis, you will say David Ingram, for sure. Wow. wow. Well, I, you know, the people there have been very good to my family and I. I had a great time. It's one of the greatest countries ever. Greece, baby. I love you. I love you all. Uh, you know that um, nine years ago, here in the, in the same radio station, Libero, uh, we talk on the air. We talk on the air about the 100 years of Heraklis. And after nine years, I'm so happy that uh, we talk again for 109 years, because uh, today, 29th of November, uh, as you know, Heraklis has uh, his birthday. And uh, 109 years we celebrate here in this town. Wow, that's wonderful, man. Well, happy birthday to Ila Cleese. Um, I hope you have many, many, many more. And to the fans as well, I hope you enjoy the day. I had a great time there. I love it. I love it there. Do you, do you want, uh, David, to hear your voice, uh, uh, what you said to us nine years ago? Whoa, we got a little James Bond. I kept it, there, I kept huh? it. Please, please, uh, listen to yourself. Okay, let's, listen to yourself. Let's check it out. Yeah. Okay. You guys have a great holiday, everybody in Greece. Ila Clara, ole. Did you hear it? Wow. I heard that guy before. I heard that guy before. So, I, I'm sure that you still remember to say in Greek uh, about your love uh, about Heraklis. Oh, no question. Um, the best time... I've ever had playing basketball. The fans were passionate. They were great. I got a chance to play for some great coaches. I had some great teammates. You know, I had a good point guard, Lefteris, and I had uh, Dimitri Papadopoulos was there, and Chekos, and, you know, all those guys. It, it was just, it was great. I had a chance to just kind of go crazy out there and play ball. It was, I really loved it. You went crazy too, huh? Yes, very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy now. You are still crazy, I think. <laughs> let, let me translate. Όπως έχετε καταλάβει, είμαστε πάρα πολύ χαρούμενοι γιατί ε, έχουμε επικοινωνήσει με Σακραμέντο, εκεί όπου βρίσκεται ο τεράστιος David Ingram και μετά από 9 ολόκληρα χρόνια τα ξαναλέμε. Μας είχε κάνει τη μεγάλη τιμή να τα πούμε τότε και ακούσατε ένα μικρό ηχητικό από την επετριακή εκπομπή των 100 ετών, το 2008, πάλι εδώ στο Λίμπερο 107,4 και στην ώρα για μπλε. Ο Ντέβιν Τίγκραμ είναι στην άλλη μας, είναι στην γραμμή μας, στην άλλη άκρη όπως λέμε της τηλεφωνικής γραμμής, έχω χάσει τα λόγια μου, είναι στο Σακραμέντο. Ε, ακούσατε πως εξακολουθεί και μιλάει για τον αγαπημένο του Ηρακλή, για τους συμπαίκτες του, τον Λευτέρη Κακιούση, τον Δημήτρη Παπαδόπουλο, τον Τζέκο, τα θυμάται όλα πάρα πολύ καλά. Ε, ευχήθηκε χρόνια πολλά σε όλο το, τον κόσμο και ευχήθηκε όχι 109 άλλα τόσα χρόνια να, να υπάρχουν πολλές χαρές και, και επιτυχίες. Και τώρα θέλω να το ρωτήσω να μας πει. Πώ έζησε εκείνα τα χρόνια, να μα ξαναπεί πώ έζησε εκείνα τα χρόνια εδώ στη Θεσσαλονίκη με τον Ηρακλή και φυσικά αν θυμάται κανένα ελληνικό να μα πει. So, David, do you remember uh, yeah. some things to tell us about your favorite team in Greek? In Greek language? Or it's difficult? Uh, I, yeah, I forgot the language, man. <laughs> I, forgot. I, like, I, I like Bazooki, though. Bazooki was pretty nice. Ah, you I remember like Bazooki? Ah, it's okay. Yeah, you I remember do, Bazooki? I remember that. Yeah, you remember Iraklara Ole, for sure. Oh, you like Clara Ole. I remember some of the bad words too. Ah, uh, no, don't don't tell to on the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> so, um, so many years after, uh, because you, I think you left Iraq in 1991. Yes. And uh, today we have uh, 2017, and I want to give you an example. Uh, this week's. Uh, the last weeks um, here we have some draws and uh, we give the um, opportunity to the fans of Heraklis to, to take um, a special t-shirt of David Ingram with number six. And I have so many messages about you and this um, very important gift for all the fans of Heraklis. Uh, it doesn't matter if one fan is 10 years old, one fan is 50 years old, everybody knows you, everybody loves you. And I want to comment about this, about you, because still now we 
if somebody tell me, uh, you know, Yorgos, I want a gift, uh, he will ask me about you. Wow, that's, you know, that's amazing. I, you know, I've been gone from Greece for a long time, it seems like. And for people still to remember, you know, I'd like to think that I was a pretty decent guy that, you know, just wanted to play basketball and, you know, be good to the kids and be good to my teammates and just played as hard as I can because, you know, the fans there, they're very passionate. They work hard for their money and they just wanted to see a good product. And I just wanted to play as hard as I could for them because I knew how passionate they were. Ε, τον ρωτήσαμε, του μετέφερα πριν από λίγο ότι εδώ και κάποιες εβδομάδες το γνωρίζετε οι ακροατές ώρας για μπλε ότι κληρώνουμε συλλεκτικά τη σερ του, του David Ingram με το νούμερο 6 και, και έχει πάθει την πλάκα του, έχει ενθουσιαστεί, δεν μπορεί να το πιστέψει ότι εξακολουθεί ο κόσμος και τον αγαπάει πάρα πολύ και μας μετέφερε το, το πόσο δέσιμο είχε με τον κόσμο εκείνα τα χρόνια το πόσο φυσικά και αυτός έδινε τον καλύτερό του εαυτό Unfortunately, David Ιρακλής is in second division, Ney 2 Okay. Uh, the last right. years and uh, you know uh, we miss you we miss all the good things all the good memories that we 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 live in uh, in Ivanovio and uh, this year it's going to be a good try from the team to be again in the first division i think uh, this is oh. your uh, uh, your hope too your wish oh no no question yeah we have to get to the first division you know that You know, Cleese, it has good management, and I'm sure guys are working very hard to get back to the first division. It's, uh, it's great being in the first division. I remember your reaction um, when we were on the air 2008, when we celebrated the 100 years of Heracles, when you, le you right. learned from us that Heracles is not in the uh, first division. And uh, your reaction was, uh, what? I can't believe it. Right. You, you still can't believe it. I can't believe it. Yeah, I still can't believe it. But, you know, things happen and, you know, things change. But, you know, hopefully, you know, Eli Cleese is on the way back up to the first division, you know, where they belong. Now it's in the second, uh, uh, the second position and uh, in the second place. And it's trying. It's trying to, to be the first to qualify well, to the, the know, first the, division. Uh, the, At the end of the day, you know, you want to try as hard as you can and let everything, you know, happen the way it happens. But Eli Cleese is a first division team, uh, so hopefully they can get back there real soon, real, real soon. Ο David Ingram δεν μα κρύβει ούτε σήμερα τη στεναχωρία του που ο Ηρακλή είναι στην Α2. Ο Ηρακλή είναι μεγάλη ομάδα. Ο Ηρακλή είναι ομάδα Α1 κατηγορία. Εύχομαι ολόψυχα να τα καταφέρει και να, και να επιστρέψει στην Α1. Και του θύμισα το περιστατικό που ήμασταν. Πριν 9 χρόνια πάλι, δυστυχώ αναγκάζομαι πολλέ φορέ να το πω αυτό, εδώ στον αέρα μαζί, όταν τότε είχε πληροφορηθεί από εμά και δεν μπορούσε να το πιστέψει ότι ο Ηρακλή είχε ε, υποβιβαστεί. Um, I have many questions about you from fans that are uh, hearing now the show. And uh, do you know what they say to me to tell you? Okay, what's that? Come here. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 yeah. we, we want to Real see you. Cool. Yes, I miss the city, man. I miss the fans, the the food. I miss everything. I miss playing at Eva Nofio. Eva Nofio. Eva Nofio. I miss it. <laughs> you are crazy. Eh? You know that. You know that. Uh, which was your favorite food? Ah, uh, I like the Greek salad. Was good. The, the Greek salad, salad was good. I like that. Not yeah, about Greek about salad. the meat. Meat was good too. Meat was good too, uh -huh. but I like the salad, and my mother liked it. I like the salad because it's healthy. I have an information now uh, by a message in my phone that uh, you want to come uh, during the June here to Thessaloniki. Is it right? My information is well, correct. If, well, if if things turn out, we'll see, um, because that's usually my my busy basketball season. Mm -hmm. So, if the time permits, yeah, I'd like to come there and visit. If not in the summer, in the near future. It's been, I've been away too long, man. I've been away too long. If you make it a target, I think that you can do it. Yes. Yes, I'm going to try my best. Μα λέει το πόσο πολύ θέλει να, να έρθει στη Θεσσαλονίκη να επιστρέψει, να επισκεφτεί το Ιβανόφι για το οποίο ακούσατε πόσο το, πώς το τραγούδισε. Ε, του έχουν λείψει πάρα πολλά. Του έχει λείψει το Ιβανόφι, του έχει λείψει η Θεσσαλονίκη, του έχει λείψει το φαγητό. Μα είπε ότι του αρέσουν οι σαλάτε και το κρέα εδώ που έτρωγε στη, στη Θεσσαλονίκη. Ντέιβιτ, uh, uh, many years. Um, the last time that you were here, when it was? Uh, I think 
I was playing for Maccabi Tel Aviv, and we came to play Pauk, I think, in one of the European games. I think that's the last time I was in Greece. About 15 years ago? Many? Yeah, More it's many. been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been, I might have been longer than that. So you agree that uh, there are a lot, huh? You must come. Yes. <laughs> I must have no question about it. And uh, what about if um, you you could have a cooperation with Heraclis, with the academies, because we know all these years that you are a coach in Sacramento with uh, young uh, uh, players, and uh, if you have a dream to have, after all these years, a cooperation with Heraclis team. Oh, no question. Um, anything I can do to help get the programs back on track or, you know, just help the kids, get better and practice better and, you know, help them compete and just have the skills right. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for helping any kids, any kids, uh, especially you like these kids. Ε, δουλεύει με παιδιά τα τελευταία χρόνια στο Σακραμέντο ω προπονητή ο David Ingram και μα είπε ότι είναι πολύ μεγάλη χαρά μου να μπορέσω να έχω μια συνεργασία με τον Ηρακλή, με όλα τα παιδιά. Πόσο μάλλον όταν μιλάμε για τα παιδιά του, του Ηρακλή, θέλω πάλι, πάρα πολύ να έρθω. Τώρα για τον Ιούνιο που τον ρώτησα, ε, δεν ξέρω αν είναι σίγουρο για τον Ιούνιο, αλλά πλέον θα το βάλω στόχο γιατί η τελευταία φορά που ήρθα ήταν όταν έπαιζα με τη Μακάβη με ένα παιχνίδι εδώ με τον Μπάουκ πριν πάρα πολλά χρόνια και μου έχει λείψει και θέλω να έρθω πάρα πολύ στη Θεσσαλονίκη. Uh, which is your wish about uh, this, uh, 109 years of Heracles. Well, I hope birthday. we have another. I hope we have another 109 years, and I wish everybody well, from the people that work at the gym to the coaches to the players, the uh, fans, everybody. I hope they have a great 109 years and many, many, many more. Η ευχή του για τα 109 χρόνια είναι να έχουν όλη η υγεία, οι προπονητέ, οι παίκτε, οι αθλητέ, ο κόσμο όλο και εύχομαι πολλά 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 χρόνια ακόμα να, να υπάρχει μεγάλη ιστορία για τον Ηρακλή. Everybody from uh, our young age until now, uh, we say David Ingram, if we are fans of Ηρακλή and we are watching basketball. What do you believe that made you so special? Because here uh, in Thessaloniki, about Heracles in basketball, you are like a myth. You know that. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think I just love to play, and I showed it. And, of course, you know, I, I like to play, you know, to get compensated for it. But I think people know that I would have played even if I, you know, didn't get compensated because I love the game so much. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to leave everything out there on the floor. But I think the fans appreciated the fact that, That I just love playing basketball and I didn't hide it. Yeah, you, you didn't hide it at all. <laughs> no. You you couldn't hide it. You couldn't hide it. I know. In each game, I if know. you it score just... uh, over 40 or 50 points, you couldn't hide it. <laughs> it was just, you know, the passion that, that I have for the game of basketball. And I was very grateful that the team in Greece and the people of Greece, you know, thought that much of me to give me a chance to play for their teams. That was, you know... That was big. Τον ρωτήσαμε μόλι τώρα τι ήταν αυτό, γιατί φυσικά για τον Ηρακλή είναι ένα μύθο. Ε, και κακώ είπα είναι σαν μύθο. Είναι μύθο για τον Ηρακλή ο Ντέιβιν Ντίγκραμ και μα είπε: ε, Αγαπάω τον μπάσκετ. Αυτό ήταν που με έκανε τόσο καλό. Ε, ευχαρίστησε τη, την Ελλάδα που του έδωσε την ευκαιρία, τον Ηρακλή που του έδωσε την ευκαιρία και ο κόσμο το εκτίμησε αυτό γιατί αγαπούσε τον μπάσκετ. Δεν μπορούσα να κρύψω την αγάπη μου για τον μπάσκετ. Βέβαια, εκεί πρόσθεσα εγώ ότι με 40 και 50 πόντου σε κάθε παιχνίδι ε, πραγματικά δεν, δεν είναι δυνατό να, να κρύψει την αγάπη. Αν σα ρωτήσω, Ντέιβιτ, για ένα game. Ένα game που δεν θα ξεχνάτε στην ζωή σα με το Ηρακλή T-shirt. Which was this one game that you can uh, describe us? Yes. I think the game we beat Artis and Eva Norfio, it's my first time ever beating uh, Artis. That was, that was pretty big. How many points of you? They were... 50, 60? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Um, I might have made a few points, but I was happy that we got the win. <laughs> a few? No, I don't believe that it was a few. <laughs> So it was the first victory in uh, against Aris in Ivanovic this game. Yes, first ever. Mm -hmm. First time ever. Yeah. Uh, Rotsak, never... yeah, must... yeah, tell me, tell me, David, please. Oh, and, and I never forget because the people were going crazy and you know it was packed and I kept looking at the clock and it kept saying 15 seconds, 14 seconds, and I was thinking to myself, "Yo, we might get this thing done." 
<laughs> and I was really, really happy. You were close. You were very close. And you did it. Yeah. Ε, θυμάται πάρα πολύ γιατί το ρώτησα να μας περιγράψει ένα παιχνίδι που δεν θα ξεχάσει ποτέ στη ζωή του και ήταν η μεγάλη νίκη απέναντι στον Άρη, στο Ιβανόφιο, στο γεμάτο πιθα... Ιβανόφιο που φώναζε, που ούρλιαζε, που είχε πάρα πολύ πάθος και θυμάμαι τον εαυτό μου να μετράει 15 δευτερόλεπτα, 14 δευτερόλεπτα, 13 δευτερόλεπτα και έλεγα μέσα μου ότι ναι τα καταφέραμε, κερδίσαμε τον Άρη σε αυτό το, το πολύ μεγάλο παιχνίδι. Uh, one friend of me and journalist also sent me some days ago a very great game of you against Sabonis and Valladolid. You remember that? Oh, I think it was in Spain. Yeah. Uh -huh. And another, that, another huh? great game about you, it was, I think, in uh, Beograd, in Serbia, that you won uh, Red Star. And uh, during your last um, try about make um, a two points shot, um, you, you make something with the wire of the cameraman and we couldn't have the, the view. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably one of my crazy moments. You, you did that also. That. You did that also. <laughs> <laughs> ε, θυμηθήκαμε και ένα πολύ μεγάλο παιχνίδι που έκανε απέναντι στο Σαμπόνι και ευχαριστώ το φίλο μου τον Χαρίλο που μου το έστειλε πριν μέρε κόντρα στη Βαγιαδολίδη για την Ευρώπη. Όπω και σε ένα παιχνίδι στον Ερυθρό Αστέρα που παρέστηκε και κάτι καλό διακοί και δεν υπήρχε εικόνα από την uh, κάμερα. Tell us about you. How is David Ingram now, 2017? Uh, I think that he is well, still a great supporter of Heraclis, but except this, uh, what are you doing now in Sacramento? Well, I'm doing, I'm doing some coaching in Sacramento at uh, Sacramento Country Day School. I'm doing some basketball training too, and I still play every day. You still play? Every day. Yeah. Uh, you you are uh, you are doing uh, what you did in Ifanofio because uh, a lot of people said to me that Iraklis uh, uh, practice was finishing five o'clock, and until uh, seven o'clock, uh, David was shooting alone. Yes, yes, I, I still do the same uh, every day. I play in these. Well, yes, I play in these tournaments. And they're called a Masters Basketball Tournament, and it's in Florida, uh -huh. Coral Springs, Florida, and it's in May. And I play on those teams, and we lost in the championship to, I think we lost to a team in Indiana. So we lost in the finals. What do you mean you still play? I, I still play. They have these <laughs> things called the, the Masters. How many we points lost, each though. game? Uh, well, the championship game, I had 46, but we lost the game. So 46? You know. And uh, you remind yeah. us uh, your age. Yes, uh, 59. 59. Not bad. Not yes. bad. Μα λέει λοιπόν ότι στα 59 του ο Ντέβιντ Ιγκραμ εξακολουθεί και παίζει μπάσκετ. Είναι σε μια ομάδα εκεί κοντά στη, στη Φλόριντα. Πήγαν πρόσφατα να παίξαν ένα τουρνουά και τον ρώτησα, με βάζει ακόμα και λέει: Ναι, προχθέ έβαλα 46 πόντου για παράδειγμα. Στα 59 του χρόνια. Και επίση φυσικά αυτό που κάνει είναι να είναι προπονητή στο Σακραμέντο και στο σχολείο εκεί και να βοηθάει πάρα πολύ τα παιδιά. So, uh, you support Sacramento Kings in NBA or not? Uh, I like the Knicks. I'm a Knicks fan. New York. Yes. Yeah, okay. We, we will not have fight because I, I, I am Boston, so it's okay. I forgive oh, okay. you. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want cool. to send you... Uh, it's, you know, um, during the, this interview, I have so many messages about you. I want to send you all the love of Heraclis fans. Uh, and believe me, if you come here and uh, we learn that uh, David Gigram will come to Thessaloniki, you will see many fans in the airport to wait for you, for sure. Wow, wow, that's crazy, that's crazy. Hey, thank you. Why you, why you, you don't much. believe it? Why you say that? Well, you know, sometimes when after you're done playing, you really never know what people really think about you until... You know, you under the grave kind of sort of. So for people are kind of still remember what you've done, and hopefully they know I'm a, they remember I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. You know that that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Είναι πραγματικά το θεωρεί τρελό το ότι γιατί του είπα ότι αν έρθει το καλοκαίρι να με πιστέψει ότι θα είναι κόσμο στο αεροδρόμιο που θα τον περιμένει και μου λέει ότι είναι πάρα πολύ τρελό αυτό ε, τόσα χρόνια μετά. Αλλά προφανώ όταν είσαι καλό άνθρωπο πέρα από το καλό παίκτη ή όχι, ο κόσμο το, το εκτιμάει αυτό. So, David, uh, before I thank you, uh, I want to give you the end about this interview, uh, whatever you want to say, whatever you like. Well, I just want to say hello. To all the great 
kids are so neaky. Keep working hard on your on your basketball game or soccer game, and do good in school. Listen to your parents and to all the management at country. De- I mean, at uh, Eli Cleese, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me and for my family and to my teammates. I miss all you guys, and of course to the fans. Keep doing your thing, baby, because we need you right now. But I want to appreciate you guys being behind us when I was there. And keep being behind the team because we need you now more than ever. Σα χρειαζόμαστε πάρα πολύ από κάθε άλλη φορά. Μείνετε κοντά στην ομάδα, είναι το μήνυμα του David Ingram προ τον κόσμο. Ε, σα ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ για όλα όσα έχετε κάνει για μένα, για την οικογένειά μου. Να προσέχετε τα παιδιά σα, να πηγαίνουν καλά στο σχολείο, να τα αγαπάτε. Είναι και οι συμβουλέ που δίνει αυτή η τεράστια προσωπικότητα που λέγεται David Ingram. Uh, I want to tell you another thing. It's time I'm thinking to, to, to say good night. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, uh, if you go to Ivanovio, if you remember, uh-huh. I think that you remember the gym. Uh, when you go yeah. from, uh, from um, the down, um, how to say, the, the down door, if you uh-huh. go inside, you will see a big poster, very big poster in front of the... Uh, first door in Ivanovio. Do you know who is this poster? No, I don't. David Ingram. Really? Yeah, it's a very big poster. Wow, man, that's pretty cool. Man. You didn't know that? No, 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 I had no idea. I had no idea. So, so you know that. And I think that you, yes. want, to, you want to take a picture of yourself close to this poster uh, next month if you come here, eh? Yes, yes, so my son can see. I think he'd like something like that. <laughs> uh, one, one, <laughs> one fan of Heraclis, uh, he, sent, he's, uh, he sent a message and he's saying, uh, tell David that uh, if he still can score over 40, he can come to help the team to go to A1. <laughs> you can play. <laughs> if, if I can score 40, well, I might not can score 40, I might can score 39. But I can, uh, I for A2, I, I think it's enough. For A2, it's okay. <laughs> it it, it, well, it good, could be man. a dream for you to, to wear again the Heraclis uniform and go inside to Ivanovic to play a, a friendly game, for example. Yes, number six, man. Putting on that number six again. It could be a, a dream for it's you to come stuff. here and play this game. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice, you know. And basketball is great. And in that gym is great. And the country is great. You know, you guys are just good people overall, you know, and I really appreciate everything you've done. We are crazy like you, don't worry. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I wish nine years after or ten years after we can say about the birthday of Heraclis. I wish the best for you and all the fans that are hearing now the show, are, they are wishing the best for you. And uh, I hope soon you come here to Thessaloniki. Soon you will wear again the uniform of, of Heraclis and play in Ivanov. Very soon. Yes. I hope. I hope. I hope so. And happy holidays to all the great people of Greece and to you and your family. And I love you. Ila Clara Ole, baby. Ila Clara Ole. We love you, David. Take care. All right. Thank you. Good night. Take care. All right, good night. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.